Hi, good morning. I thought today I'm going to talk to you about something that I have been discussing um, over a few calls lately. And that's about, you know, very important question. What do people pay for? Yeah, we've all tried to find clients. We've all been working at different rates, at different, you know, uh, kind of work that we do. Uh, and I know that in the community, there are people who are earning less than one rupee a word. Most of you are at one to two rupees a word. Very few are in that over five rupee kind of a bracket. Uh, and what I want you to do is just like stop and think about it a little bit, right? How is it when you interact with your clients? right what is the quality of that conversation that you're having with the client is it just that they send you a work and say write this and give it back to me or are you adding any value to them by sort of telling them that how can they do this better what can they do to get better outcomes from the piece of content that they're writing or is writing this content even making sense to them right um so why I say this is because when you evaluate the quality of your conversations, you'll slowly come to the realization that, you know, when people only pay you for execution, that will be peanuts, right? Because somebody else has already done the thinking, yeah? And the money is in the thinking. So one of the capabilities that you need to develop, and in fact, this conversation I had because we were talking about the tectonic program that, you know, that's starting in January, which is a very different program where we are going to go the university level and do more discussions and debates and stuff like that. But that aside, um, what I've realized in all the 16 years that I've worked is people pay for thinking, right? Once you apply your brain, you come up with some interesting ideas, concepts, recommendations for your client. That's when your value goes up in their eyes. And that's when they are willing to pay you big money, right? So as long as you play the execution game, you will be stuck in the per word pricing. But if you start applying your intelligence, if you start reading a lot, getting familiar with the industry that you're working in, adding more value to these client conversations by telling them what is in their best interest, then your value starts going up and you can charge a premium for your thought, right? Um, and, you know, sometimes I don't even have to execute, right? I only consult people and consulting assignments are worth way more than, um, you know, assignments where I get to just write stuff. And, you know, I charge a premium for my writing, which is around 20 to 40 rupees a word. But when I do consulting, like a two, three week assignments could be somewhere around three to four lakh rupees, because what I'm giving them is, um, you know, and assimilation and processing of all the knowledge that I've collected in all these years and giving them steps in terms of what they can do, right? So I'm adding value there. So there is this total value pyramid and you've got to see, uh, start analyzing, start thinking about where are you in that pyramid? Uh, are you just executing or are you slowly adding, moving up to the consulting layer? And if you are at the lower layers, how do you move uh, a step ahead with every new client or with every new project that you have with an existing client. Because that is the only way, because unless people see value in, in you, just because you raise your rates, they're not gonna pay you, right? So how do you showcase that value? How do you deliver that value? Uh, is something that's only going to happen once you realize where you are in this journey, yeah? So for today, maybe go back, think through some of the client conversations you've had. What is the quality of that conversation? How is it reflecting in the money that you're getting paid? And what can you do to showcase more value to the client so that you can up your, you know, the money that you have and uh, the rates that you can charge them. So that's all for uh, today. And I'll come back with a snippet sometime later as well. Do follow me on the YouTube channel for uh, more videos like this and more webinars with some guest speakers where there's just a ton of information absolutely free for you to uh, figure out, you know, how to find clients, how to write better content, how to get your brand well known. So all that is available for you. And I hope that you use this content to be very successful in your journey as a content writer. Thank you.